booktube it's missy and today i'm here to share with you guys my october most anticipated reads for the year 2017. Um, i did say that a little funny and that's because i just finished doing my most anticipated reads for october 2014 my rewrap recap and update video so Yes, I needed to make sure I said this was the 2017 version. This month, there wasn't that many books that I was hoping to read, and that's very surprising because in October, normally a lot of horror and thriller books come out. Um, this time around, I didn't find that many, and that's probably because I only looked at YA uh, dot lit or YALit.com this time. Um, yeah, maybe there was more for the adult section, and again, I normally do that, but I wanted to make this a shorter video since they have been so long in the past. Um, this anticipated reads list is only five books long, and these are the most interesting ones that I found for this month. The first one is called Alone by Sin Balog. This one comes out on November 1st, and it's a YA horror. It's a haunted house, and I have read Sin Balog before. The first book that I read by her is called Touched, and I did give that book four stars, so I know how this writer or this author writes, and I am definitely looking forward to reading this book and also because it is a haunted house book. The next book on my list is called Devil in Ohio, and this is by Daria Pol Politan, I think I'm totally saying that wrong. Um, this one comes out on the 7th of November, and this is about a cult takeover, it is a debut novel. Um, it's a suspense and, uh, yeah, um, I, I'm looking forward to reading it. I, I, I did read the synopsis and it sounded really good. Uh, <laughs> the next book on my list is called Fragments of the Lost, and this is by Megan Miranda. This one comes out on the 14th of November. It says here what I've written down is Jess's boyfriend, Caleb, dies in a car accident, did she even know him? Um, I can't really recall why I wrote all that. Uh, I'm sure it's because the boyfriend's not who she remembers him to be uh, because she doesn't know why he got in this car accident. But it did sound really good when I looked it up. Uh, two more. The, la uh, the fourth one is Final Fall, and this is by Heather W. Petty. This is the third and final book in the Lock and Mori series. I do own Lock and Mori. Um, the second one came out, I believe, last month, or excuse me, not last month, but last year. So this one comes out on November 28th, and Lock and Mori is a retelling of Moriarty and um, Sherlock Holmes. It's a, like, a detective story where I can't remember if Locke or Maury is it, but it's a boy and a girl team. And um, yeah, I like Sherlock Holmes, so I was looking forward to reading a Sherlock Holmes retelling. And the very last book on my list is called Rip Eliza Hart, and this is by Alyssa B. Shenmel, I think, and it comes out on the 28th of November. And this is a mental health book. It's about a popular girl who's found dead. Um, off the cliffs of a boarding school and that right there is all I need to know uh, a, a death a boarding school um, you know the popular girl everyone wants to know why she died and it's mental health so uh, that's very interesting to me so those were the five books that I'm looking forward to reading in the month of October um, or excuse me in the month of November I am losing my mind uh, let me know down below what other books you know that is coming out in November that I have missed that I w would probably want to read and yes that's all I wanted to say tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Um, it's going to be Halloween tomorrow. So yeah, if I don't see you until later, I hope you had a good one. Thank you again. Bye.